Hello Nintendo Wii here, welcome back to Let's Play Retro Games. Today I won't be taking a look at a retro game, I'll be taking a look at a brand new game that's actually out today. It's called Requiem and it was heavily inspired by retro games, so let's have a look at it and I'll tell you my thoughts and opinions on it. The game is a story-driven adventure game with loads of really interesting and unique characters. It takes place half in the real world and half in the magical world of Requiem, all wrapped up in a lovely story about a young boy in a hospital and his favourite storybook. The book tells the story of a man who travels to a mysterious place called Morizora's Forest, where he overcomes many challenges to speak to the guardian of the forest, Morizora. Once upon a time, there lived a boy in a faraway land called Morizora's Forest. Even though he was still quite young, the boy was considered a great warrior by his tribe. One day, the boy returned home from a hunt to find that everyone in his tribe had disappeared. At first, the boy was very afraid, but he soon learned that his tribe had escaped danger by sailing to a world called Rakuen. In order to reach them, the boy decided to seek help from the great guardian of the forest, Morizora. For it has been said that Morizoto would grant one wish to anyone who was able to complete his challenges. Throughout the game you learn about the other people in the hospital and you go about solving their problems which eventually will allow you to go and speak to Morizora himself. The game is inspired by some of the best 16-bit RPGs such as Chrono Trigger and Secret of Mana. You can definitely see the inspiration of Secret of Mana shining through in the amazing pixel art which looks almost hand-painted at times. I really, really love this style. I loved it in Secret of Mana, I love it in Children of Mana, and in Rakuen it's equally as amazing to look at. I've never played it, but Laura told me that one of the other games that she got a lot of inspiration from was the PS1 title on Suikoden. She wanted you to feel really, really attached to the characters, and I can say that she definitely did an amazing job. I won't go into too much detail about the story, as I don't actually want to spoil anything for you guys, but rest assured, I can tell you this, you will laugh, you will cry, and most of all you'll have a fantastic time playing through it. It's just filled with a sense of wonder and excitement that I haven't felt in a game for a long time, and I say that from the heart. It's an amazing game and you definitely have to go and try it out. Equally amazing is the music in this game, it really gives the game a whole new atmosphere. Every single track in this game is so well done. Sometimes I would actually just leave the game on pause and listen to the soundtrack, it's that good. There's also a load of puzzles which break up the story-driven gameplay. There's a big cave near the start of the game that really reminds me of a dungeon from the old Zelda games. If you can't tell already, I really really love this game, it actually means quite a lot to me. About four years ago I actually started making my own game in RPG Maker called Quantum Shift, which a few of you may have heard of. I played a lot of games back then to get inspiration one of them being To The Moon, and I absolutely loved that game so much and I thought the ending song was just simply amazing. I found out that it was actually sung by Laura, so I joined her forums, and I've actually been following the development of the game right from the beginning. I'm so excited to finally say that it's being released to the public. It's out on Steam today, so go and check the link down below. I really, really hope you enjoy it as much as I did. And go and check out Laura's channel while you're here, I'll put it up there so you can go and check it out. There's some amazing music on there. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.